I'm Mark Dresner and welcome to the Shopper Insider TV delivering the insight scoop on market research and Shopper Insights from experts and leaders in the field. The Shopper Insider is brought to you by the Shopper Insights in Action Conference dedicated to championing research activation at retail. Joining me today is Rafael Acarez. He is the Vice President of Global Advanced Analytics, Digital Media and Strategic Foresight at the Hershey Company. Rafael, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me, Mark. We've heard a lot about big data, and what changes, I'd like to know, do you anticipate in the industry uh, and that companies might face uh, from an insights perspective because of the uh, onset of the bets of uh, big data, and how are you addressing them? It's a good question. I think uh, big data, to me, equals big headaches. So uh, there's going to be a, a fundamental change that we're going to have to go through, especially the analysts. There's a lot of conventional wisdom and knowledge that we have accumulated over the past 20 years. And if you think about it, a lot of people are going to have to become, instead of a specialist, they're going to be, have to become generalists. They're going to have to have knowledge about shopper data, panel data, syndicated, spectra, et cetera. So I think that's going to be the fundamental element that we're going to have to go through over the next several years. You've worked in a number of companies that I assume had fairly entrenched uh, cultures and traditions. To what extent have insights been brought to bear to drive disruptive changes, um, innovation, or meaningful transformation in those kinds of companies? I think what, what is going to be uh, essential for any market researcher to be at the table or to have a, an important say with everybody else, I think you have to be the knot that ties the strings. You have to be storytellers, and you have to be speaking in the language that is relevant for everybody else. Now, in, in comparing research to that knot, binding uh, sales, marketing, finance, et cetera, et cetera, can you elaborate a little more on that concept for us? Absolutely. I think that what I was telling you earlier is we have to be storytellers, and as storytellers, we have to convey stories that are meaningful to every single one of the different parties involved. So finance, for example, they care about ROI. If you think about sales and marketing, they care about brand equities and sales overall. So I think overall we just have to make sure that we speak a language that is relevant for each of the parties, tell the same story, and that's how the concept of the knot that ties the strings come together. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Meaningful change is difficult. You've worked in a variety of industries and companies that were averse uh, and in cases I think hostile to uh, change. How can insights help organizations uh, move in progressive directions? Lots of patience. So the first thing that, that I, I realized is a uh, long time ago in the 1960s, there was uh, somebody who wrote, Kuhn, they wrote about the ability for us humans to move from one paradigm to the next is directly correlated to the ability to compare it to what you're moving towards. So for humans and market researchers alike and the companies, organizations alike, it's very difficult to move to a new paradigm unless you understand it. However, it's very difficult to understand some things that, as you asked the question about innovation, how can you understand something that is innovative? If it's, by definition, innovative, is new, so that in itself represents a challenge. In 96, Howard Gardner, he's a, a developmental psychologist at the University of Harvard. He wrote about that there's seven levers that influence mind change. So what I have done is I took that construct and started to evaluate that. How, would I, how can I use that to be able to drive change in an organization? And those seven levers were reason, resonance, research, relevant resources. Uh, he also mentioned the concept of resistance, which is the most pervasive one of, of those. Can you explain these in a little more detail for us and how they affect the ability to change minds? So reason, what he means by that is the ability of any one analyst or any individual in any organization to be able to look at things holistically, to reason, to think through problems. Resonance is the ability for us to communicate with different, the same message, just differently. Uh, he talks about the concept of uh, rewards and resources. He uses the, the, what is in it for us, for me as a researcher, and for the rest of the organization to move to the new change. He uses the concept of redefinition of what you show. How can you actually show the same concept visually differently? And then he goes through the element of talking about how the resistance at the end of the day could be the most pervasive one. And that is actually one of the most challenging things to change in any organization. Uh, and the reason for that is because even though a researcher can use the sixth one, which is real life representations. How can you bring a concept to life with current life events? People sometimes they just because of what they know, the conventional wisdom that we carry together through time just 
they resist to it and they say you just because I don't want to change that's when you really have to take the time to investigate and to invest against that specific change and drive it forward. Great insights and thanks for sharing with us, Rafael. Thank you for having me. On that note, that wraps this episode of the Shopper Insider TV. I'm Mark Dresner and you've just heard the Insight Scoop.